So we're going to take a walk down now and go and have a look and see what they have to offer. It opens at 12 o'clock. It's 20 to 12 now. So we're hoping that by the time we get there, we've just opened and things will be in full flow. So, right, join us on our walk to the Transport Museum. So I'm assuming this is a, oh, it is, it's a footbridge over the bridge. Oh, what are we doing then? Footbridge over the bridge. So we've been walking for about 30 minutes. Just coming up to the roundabout for Colville. And we've got to follow the signs. They've got a picture of the tram. It's very noisy because of the road noise. But there is a pathway most of the way, isn't there? It's been, it's been quite pleasant, actually. Yeah. So... I thought we were going to be walking next to the road, which I was not very happy to be doing. No. But no, we have had... We've been on a pathway away from the road some of the way. Yeah, which is nice. And there is some very nice houses. With some very nice outbuildings. Right. Let's keep walking. Well, we've been walking for just over 40 minutes now and I can just see the entrance to the Transport Museum. You can just see the top of the trams. So there are people on them. There you go. So apparently this is all set in an oldie weldy environment. Uh, looks like they've got trains there as well. Excellent stuff. There we go. I think this is it. I think this is how we get in. Just need to find out. Nice around there somewhere. used to talk about trolley buses with mum all the time and yeah. well, we're not very good. I like a trolley. There we go. Ooh. There's one here. There's one beside us. So that's a tram. Yeah. That's a tram. Oh, so that's a tram down there. Yeah. Oh, it was. 
Chinkford. Shoreditch Church, proper old London trees. <laughs> Well, it's what they were, very hard suspensions. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you very much. I've seen one before. That's <laughs> Just the one. Thank you. I'm trying to these because they slide through. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the clip is addressed as they would be. That's brilliant. So we've had three trips around so far, which I think is great. So we're going to see what else is here. I hope the stabiliser work works on this. So I'm assuming this time we um Please remain seated. I think they need to they change trolley poles or something. Yeah, they change trolley poles. That's what they've done there. So I think the trolley comes off and they're going to change it. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. That's brave. I love it. Still keep the tune up to ten. So there's a tram coming. Oh, I love that. So just looking inside a a motor garage, RAF staff car. Oh, this is something else, isn't it? I guess there's probably people that have been here before, but uh, this is our first time and uh, we've got the free return for a year. So for the 10 pounds that it's cost us to get in, we can come back at any time for the year. How brilliant is that? When I was still at primary school, so yeah. it was probably, I was about nine, maybe my brother was ten, we were given a, a, a plastic um, liquid bottle, like, I don't know, about that big. Yeah. And we were sent down, down the end of our road, well, it's just that over there, it says there's no warmth cheaper than pink, Par pink paraffin. Yeah. There used to be a machine on the wall of this garage. Yeah. And we put the coins in, mm. put the bottles, the container underneath. Yeah. The paraffin ran into, and we put the lid on and we carried it home. Home, oh, yeah. And we were just children. Nobody questioned it. Nobody thought we were going to set anything on fire or that we were. Which funny you said that because we had something very similar where the man used to come round in the back of his van with the tanks on the back and he'd mm. ring the bell and we'd go out and fill up 
Dad used to send me out with a little containers to fill up with paraffin. So yeah, I get it. I get it. I've just never seen it since. But it, it was in, um, I think there was uh, power cuts. Yeah. So we had this paraffin heater. Hurricane lamp. And it, it was in the shape, it's like a, a triangle of shape. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. My mum used to trim the wick, I think. Anyway, there we go. Got that note. That I love it. <laughs> Shall we take a walk over to these over here? Oh, you're not doing this in any particular I'm going. Area. So I just noticed that says Epping Onga Railway. So I wonder if that is like a rail replacement service. I'm just a bit OCD. I like to do things in a bit of a well, so we'll, we'll walk yeah, around. I just, I, this, is, this has just caught my eye because many, many years ago, I did the skid pan at Chiswick in one of these was the scariest thing in my life I've ever done on anything with an engine in it. Wow. That's, um, that is something else. And it looks like a, there's a Leyland Titan in the front of it. I don't know. But that, it looks like, do you remember Dad's Army? Yeah. What's it called? Um, Jonesy. Jonesy. It's like Jonesy's van, isn't it? Yeah, true. Had just a tarpaulin over it, didn't it? Oh, the butcher's it. van. Oh, this is, um, crikey. That's is, that's a London cab, that's a TX1, I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. that's a TX1 London taxi. Wow. Is that sad that I might know? I don't know if this is an RM. What's the bit at the back here, the little. Is that to put luggage on? Or is that seats down here? A seats. Oh, is it? So seats, yeah. That's where you can. Um, is it sideways? Yeah. That's something else. So we're going into the light commercial vehicle display. No food or drink. Huh. Caravanning. Oh my God. Is that how small they used to be? Where did people sleep? Well, same as we would have done. What, in a, in a tent? No, no, no. Here, there's a bed. It makes it into a double bed. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Oh. So if I, we might be able to see through here. You can see through here. So the table makes into a double bed. It's got a drain board and everything. Yeah. Got a it's great, isn't it? I do. I do. I think a caravan is a rare survival example of how caravan used to be yeah. over half a century ago. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? This is just, um, this is worth a few quid. The old road signs, look. Look at the sign for hospital. Jonas Cross. Stand of Vanguard. Robin Reliant. I want that one in the corner. I want that three wheeler. Is that the paraffin machine you were talking about? Something like that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. God, I feel H. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it measured out so much, didn't it? Yeah. And we never worried that it was going to be more than the Or it might spill. Yeah. It's uh, 
post office. So this is the it's post office, isn't it? Post office telephones. And it's in absolutely pristine condition. I bet that is worth a fortune. No, here we go. The friendly magazine for the woman who loves her home. My home. Oh. Tells you to look. Let's put a little fringe on your lampshades. I've done that. I've actually put a fringe on a lampshade. I didn't. Not from the magazine. I didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Put a fringe on your lampshade. I did. Excellent stuff. Make my own curtains and cushion covers and oh, it. back in the day. Right, should we go back out, bit, back out that way? Or do you want to walk through? So that? I've just noticed that there is a sign on the wall for me. Hang on a minute, let's zoom in on it. Prats. Yeah, yeah, yeah Prats here. That's, um, yeah. Is that what the dating site was called? <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Is that what the dating site was called? Well, the one where you went on to find me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so, battery-powered vehicle display. And these are the early, um, this is early, early electric vehicles. Early electric vehicles. Oh. So is that all that is uh, battery? I have one of them. I had a Sinclair C5. Did you? I did indeed. It just looks like a go-kart. It? it was a go-kart, very dangerous and, um, yeah, scary. It's just too low. To just too low, scary as. So. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, this is the. Uh, This is the electric, this is the only electric vehicle that she'll ever be. I can still hear that noise. Mm. Yeah. See, now I've just found something is very close to home for me. Look, up there, Central Line, westbound platform. Where is that? That's, that's off the street. Yeah. Wow. That's when you said to read them properly. Yeah. Just clear yeah, that's And that's an underground that's ticket booth, oh, really? yeah. That's very early. Well, this is really worrying, isn't it? Remember the aerial onto the Italian? Yeah. So that's we're good. just saying half of this half of this stuff in this window. So the Pifco hairdryer, and I'm have one of those. I, I have yeah. one of those. Yeah. Ah. We have a television like that, a heater like that. No, Oh yeah, we did. I'm quite pleased to say I don't recognise you know, oh. these things, but we didn't have any of those. Oh, yes. Your mum's a lot older than mine, though. She is. Oh yeah. What's that there then? What's that? Uh, a toaster. Is it? No, it's not. It's a, it's a projector. All oh, right. So you put your slides in the top, your negatives. Yeah. And then it will project them out onto a screen. See, that looks like a computer screen to me, not a telly. That is, uh, that is definitely a television. Is it's it a Ferguson right? television. Black and white, mind you. Yeah. Blakey's. Oh, crikey. So is it Patrick's here, though? I don't know what valve caps are. Valve caps for your car. Or your bike. Or whatever. <coughs> There's a wick cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> crikey. <laughs> Nylon soles. They've got all them tools. I've probably still got them in lock up all dead stuff. That's for you. Look, Mr. D. Jones, 30 Crossways, Gideon Park, Romford, Essex. <laughs> He's still waiting for his parcel then. Still waiting for his parcel. Look at these old sites. Oh, look at this. Here it comes. There comes a trolley bus. How amazing is that? Maximum speed, 30 mile an hour. Amazing.
we're doing food again. We're doing food again, aren't we? I love it. Chips, one pound fifty. Sandwich, cake, drink. Thank you. Oh yeah, it's very ginger, so not much. All I know is it's green and white. Green, 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 green. What does it say? It says ginger. It's one of the yellow. Can you square it? I have no idea what it says. But we have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, as soon as it does depart, I'll start yeah. filming it. This place isn't massive. There's quite a lot going on, isn't there? <gasps> Pardon me. <gasps> yeah? Yeah. It's making me feel old because there's lots of this that I can remember and I'm like, but handsome cabs. Do you remember the caravan box like that? No. Well, they're not doing too bad, then. Excellent stuff. Ah. It's playtime. An FX4. So, this is the electricity being provided for the trams. Look at that for a circuit breaker. Just tell everyone what you just said about when that song started playing. I just can't believe I could you recognised it, it was only like two notes in and you started singing it. Mm. It's because I'm old, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to. Going now, we're going in the post office. And I don't mean Marjorie. You what? <laughs> Say that again. You have a post office bike, and I don't mean Marjorie. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, see, now I can remember our little post office being like this. Do you remember the poster? Yeah. No, you don't. I do. I do remember the poster because I had a little national savings book with a school. I had national savings. Mine didn't look like that. Mine was like um, dark blue. Yeah. Well, mine, my first one was white and then my second one was blue. Oh, right. 
Yeah, I didn't realise there's all different shaped pillar boxes. There are. Well. So, um. Look, all people sorting the post. Oh, how lovely it must have been back in the day when everybody had a proper job. Do you know what job I would have loved? Working on the uh, mail train. They've got, they've got the travelling post office up there. Yeah. See, but you, we've still got national savings and investments now, haven't you? Except you haven't won this month. And you're not any, happy. I haven't won any month. Tram's just gone by. A trolley bus even. So. What's this then? This is what it would have looked like before. Oh, it's a telephone box. Hey, what's the little hatch bit for then? Uh, what the telephones is there? I've got, I've got no idea. Got to no, no, no. So there is a telephone in there, and they put the telephone through to you, I should imagine. Oh. So they went in, connected the call. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so now I've got lots of this one going round, but So there were in their day 3,000 trolley buses in London. There is now only four, a uh, nine in preservation, four of which are here. Um, these are from different areas. I love it, look at all this switch gear switch gear in there so these are just pre the pre predecessors of buses aren't they there's another one behind there absolutely amazing my favorite word that fancy a woodbine darling yeah Look at it. The record of the century. Winifred Atwell, the Beverly Sisters. Wow, look how it. 90,000, Rose McLean, Doris Day, Flanagan and Allen, Judy Gomes. Look at they grow all on you. Look, it, uh, I've heard of Hermione. Look at that te television set. 65 pounds, 12 shillings. And six pence. Max Miller, Mitch Miller, Guy Mitchell, Johnny Ray. Was Johnny Ray the, dark, the blind guy? Was he dark? Was he? That's Stevie Wonder, isn't it? No, oh, Johnny Ray. I don't know, Donnie. I don't know. Look, yeah. the first British tape recorder. Yeah, look how much the television is there. So, what else? Is something coming along here? Is this coming along here? Yes, it is. So I'll tell you what, if you haven't been here, it's definitely, definitely worth a visit. Um, I'll have a look. I'm going to actually see if we can get any discount codes, which if I can, I'll stick down below um, in the uh, in the description. Um, I say it's just absolutely brilliant. There goes, the, uh, there goes the train behind us.
tightened up, it has to wait for the uh, for it to change. Going to walk around the back. Yeah, and let's just let this go. So we're going to walk around and uh, go and see if we can get the train. Well, it's not an LED display, is it? It's, so it's proper roller blind, change the numbers. Well, I can remember bus drivers doing that when I was at school, having to change the number. Yeah. Your destination blinds. Yeah. Again, I know I've got everything, everything in my lockup, but in my lockup is a destination blind for a Green Line 724 bus. It used to run from Romford to Staines via Heathrow Airport. Yeah. Dad might have got that for me when they closed Romford Garage. <laughs> Same as he got me a ticket machine as well. It so was you don't want to just chuck all this stuff away in a skip, do you? No, not really. No. So, I'll say this place isn't huge, but it's really interesting. It's an original bus stop then? Yeah. I love it that people actually buy um, Art Deco tram stop. Yeah, so even though this place isn't massive, it's full of history. I've spent more time going around here going, oh, wow, I remember that, wow, I remember that. So, in one respect, it makes me feel very old, but in another respect, it's just nice to see. Oh, like you said, what are, what are our children going to look back on? Yeah, exactly. You know, because so much... Oh, there we go. So we're going to head over. Oh, there we go. On the, uh, on the little train here. Yeah, so Betsy's loving it, it's 
Ticket office. Rainers Lane. Crikey. I've got one of them indoors. They are off of the southern region. Um, yes, I thought so. The southern region head codes. So I used to spell Hobis, and I used to think Dad was joking. about this tram car. So what, what do you reckon? What do you reckon to this? That's lovely. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's very, very nostalgic. Um, my only overriding concern is that there is things in this museum that I can remember as a kid, which makes me feel very, very old because 55 I might be, but I actually mentally I'm 20. Oh, like Yeah, 20, 21 ish. At a push, at a push. So, um, are we going? We're going in this shed. Hang on a minute. So we're going in here. What's in here? That looks like a Brighton tram. Sheffield. Embankment and Old Kent Road. Oh wow. 
Blackpool Corporation. Oh, so you could just see them coming, couldn't you? They're just... They're so tall. Oh, they're so tall. Sacks of salt. I'd love to find out what days these are operating. That's brilliant. There's an old London transport bus around there. I can't see what it is. To love. But that's the black tram as well. They, um, there was a program, a restoration program that had sugs on it, and I can't remember what it was called, but they restored the tram. Oh, I mean, that's seriously old, isn't it? Yeah, that's Victorian, isn't it? It's a steam one, isn't it? It's got a chimney at the back. No, that's the pole on which the trolley pole goes. So, I'd love to know what sort of bus that is. I don't know if it's an Olympian or a Titan. I can't see. But as I say, I just, I think this is great. Brilliant to find out what days this is in operation and. Yeah. Well, it's no. A London bus. A London bus is probably. Yeah. So it is a London bus. So it's the same. No, that's on Jacks, isn't it? So it's probably quite a fair bit taller than a London bus. So let's go and have a look in, um, we've been over there. Let's go in the Tar, Sweat and Steam exhibition entrance. A Roadman's Living Band. So this is what a Roadman would have lived in. So they would have actually lived in here while working on the road. Old road roller. Look at that. It was built by Armstrong Whitworth. I wonder if it's in relation to Dave. Sundry stores, what's this in? Oh yeah, that's good. Sweeping brushes. Water valves. Oil feeders. Steam pressure gauge. Found around here. These would have been buried, wouldn't they? Oh, tiny. It's absolutely tiny. Is there any sunny gyms in there? No. So you are. Sunny gyms. I got one at uh, Flambard's, the sunny gym. So. Right. I'm going forth to the shop. Gonna go and have a look in the shop, which is around here somewhere.
you remember them? Yeah, that so was a different type, wasn't it? I preferred the older, older ones. Uh, well, the car park's thinned out a lot since we arrived. Well, I don't know about you, but that was a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. Do you want to sum that up? Sum the day up before we end up out in the wind? Yeah, very interesting. Very well put together. Nice to see um, all the enthusiasts, really. Yeah. Um, but now there's some of the cafe to make my favourite. Yes. And do you know what? The chips were my price. Yeah. The sandwich was my price. Made really fast. No yeah. waiting around. There was no sort of. Um, it was probably the cheapest. Puffing and puffing. It was just. I said to you, it's probably the cheapest bread, pre-grated cheese, and the red onion. But you know what? It was the tastiest sandwich. It was like a doorstep. As well, it was wasn't it? bloody lovely. <laughs> so if you haven't, if you haven't been here, you know how nanas can make stuff and it does taste a different better to everything, everything else. Yeah. yeah that's what that cafe was like. Yeah. So if you haven't been here, um, you've got to come. For for the ten pounds it costs to get in. Well, how long we've been here? Well, we've been here since. We've been here for over four hours. Yeah, cost ten pounds to get in. If you sign a gift aid, you then get you can come back free for a year. Yeah. Well, th that was sold with that free for a year works for me. We'll definitely be back. So, this is absolutely brilliant. Well. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this little video, this walk around. Uh, if you have, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. If you don't already, please subscribe. And yeah, um, I don't think there'll be any more today because we're only going to go back and watch the uh, the speedboat powerboat racing, which you've already seen or would have seen. Uh, so I guess you won't want to see that again. But um, as I say, hope you found it interesting. Bye for now.